All right, Nicole, is third time the charm? Are you going <laughs> to win with this one? Uh, yeah, I definitely plan on being the first time ever two-time winner. You say that with some confidence, huh? What makes you think you're going to win? Um, I think I have a little bit of Midwestern charm that I can bring, a little bit of sass, a little bit of feisty, and then I'm just going to try to be myself and establish for the first time ever like real friendships and hope that takes me pretty far. I'm all about girl power, but what does El Cuatro mean? It sounds like you're not going into this with an intense amount of manipulation or strategy. You're gonna play it real. True, that's very true. What's crazy is I think everyone's gonna be going in with so much manipulation and like cutthroat and people are gonna need shoulders to cry on. And guess what, that's gonna be me. And I'm gonna come off as genuine as I can be. Um, try to be myself because in 18, I felt a little like I had more to prove and now I already won. So it's like, hey, back to myself and Let's win as me, you know? What's up? So right off the bat, what are you thinking? I have no idea. What is your strategy coming in? I don't have a strategy. Because I, I can tell you one thing. The newbies want to stay together. What makes you think everybody's heading into this with a lot of strategy on their mind? I think a lot of people have to redeem themselves. I mean, a lot of people have played this more than once and haven't won. And also, you know, I feel like a lot of the Big Brother community has a lot of like stuff to prove as far as there's a lot of brawls on the internet and stuff and like going on. And so I think that they're, they're just ready to fight. <laughs> You're like, I already won. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. I do want to win again though, but I just think taking the more like natural approach is better. I don't want to come in too hard, too fast and get knocked out right away. Well, what makes you want to come back? You're already a winner. Congratulations, Nicole. You are the winner of Big Brother. Come on out, Nicole. So what do you have to prove? Well, nothing to prove really, except for, I guess that I did deserve my winner in Big Brother 18. I know some people are like, oh, Paul was robbed. Um, he's a great player, don't get me wrong, but I definitely think I deserved it. But more so, I'm doing it because I love the game. It's I just love playing. I don't think I'll ever say no unless I have kids and it'll probably be really hard to come. But this is probably my last time playing. I would regret so much if I didn't say yes. I just like, I love everything about it. The first HOH of the summer is always huge, but with this twist, you don't know if being in the HOH is a good thing. Why is this your last time playing? Are kids around the corner? Oh yeah, I'm hoping to have kids. We're getting married in December. And I'm hoping to start popping them up right then. <laughs> oh, no. well, an early congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I was going to ask, how has the pandemic affected the wedding? What's the status mm -hmm. of things? Yeah, so the wedding was supposed to be in October, um, and it pushed it back to December. And now we're doing a destination in Turks and Caicos. So it's changed it completely. It went from a wedding in Michigan to now a destination wedding, which is what Victor wanted, so it's fine. <laughs> oh, he won out, okay. <laughs> uh, who will be there, if anybody? We're still keeping our guest list because okay. I know a lot of people probably won't be able to make that trip. And so I don't want to uninvite anybody. Yeah. So whoever was invited the first time is still invited. <laughs> <laughs> hey everyone, it's time to pick players for the first veto competition yeah. of the summer. And how is it going to feel uh, being without Victor in there? Um, it's going to be a little bit weird going in knowing that I don't have someone like Victor who is a great ally. Not only is he physically strong and good in competitions and keeps me like, you know, from freaking out. Um, he's my partner in life. So it, I'm going to have to find that in somebody else. I'm really looking for someone that's loyal, can do well in competitions. And really, the number one thing is just, I gotta trust my gut. Yeah, well, how does Victor feel about you going and playing without him? He's excited for me. He never once was like hesitant of me, should I say yes? It was never a thing. He's like, oh my God, this is awesome for us and our family. Um, he really believes in me. He really expects me to bring home that money for our future children and future farms. So um, yeah, he, he's, he's excited. What will be the plan if you win for that money? You said farm? 
Yeah, we're looking right now at a farmhouse that we really love. It's an Amish house, so you have to we have to put electricity and stuff into it, which can be pretty expensive. Um, but it's beautiful, and we want to have like an animal sanctuary to take care of. I already take care of a lot of animals, and you know, having the budget would be better and more land, more space, and hire help. That's like the dream, and then have kids. So that's what it would literally be for. Um, I just, I, I really want it to happen. And you assume things later on you, it makes a fool out of you, right? Yeah. Like you have to, you can't assume, like, yeah, I know. we're not. And was Victor asked to be on too? No, he wasn't. He actually wasn't. He was a little bit upset <laughs> that he's like, I'm not an all-star. And I was like, honestly, yeah, I, I, I think that you are an all-star. I was like, it must be full of some really good people. <laughs> you're like, you're an all-star in my book, honey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who did you have crossing your mind on who you might see in there? Who are you excited to see or nervous to see? I definitely think there'll be some winners in there. I'm expecting to see uh, Casey probably, which is pretty scary because she did really well on the challenge and she's just a beast. Um, I'm expecting to see Janelle. I have a gut feeling that Ian Terry could be in there and I think him and I could work really well together. So that would be pretty amazing. Uh, maybe Danny, Donato, Davon. I feel like I have so many people that could potentially be in this uh, thing. I don't know how stiff the competition's gonna be. <laughs> Are you nervous? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm pretty nervous. I feel like I'm back on BB16, um, you know, going in a little bit shy, timid. Instead of in 18, I was like, these people don't know what they're doing. Now I'm kind of feel like, all right, let's humble yourself and let's uh, go back in with nothing. It feels a lot, lot different than 18. Definitely way more scared. Yeah. So since you are coming in with the experience you have and having been a winner, how do you make sure you don't just get eliminated and become a target right off the bat? That's a really good question. I think it's important to seem like the least threatening winner. Um, I think we're all as winners who's ever in there and has won the game is gonna have the same game plan of maybe maybe actually we could stick together and I could kind of go for an alliance that way of like, hey, we already all won. They might be coming after us. I wouldn't initiate that, that's kind of bold, but um, I think that's a good idea if, if they're all coming after us, but also just making myself seem as chill, personable, r relatable as possible, and not being like, I already won this game. I feel like a lot of people might shoot themselves in the foot by uh, by not, you know, th yeah. they think they're the greatest player ever. Now, one thing I think that's new for you is no opportunity for a showmance this time, right? <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Definitely not. We're like Hansel and Gretel. Come on, I don't even know these people. <laughs> I think Hayden, is a lot of fun, but I kind of had my mindset on Nicole marrying a farmer and not a pedicab driver. Like I said, I don't know if my best ally will be a girl or a boy. I'm just looking for someone loyal and definitely um, no showmance whatsoever. Well, how <laughs> might that affect you? You know, I think it's actually going to be a really good thing for me. No distractions in that aspect. And uh, I think it's good to prove that I don't need a showmance to make me memorable in this game. Yeah. And how will it be missing Victor? Like how much will he be on your mind and how do you think that might mentally and emotionally affect you? Because you're probably coming off of, you know, spending months together nonstop, especially in the quarantine. Yeah, I think it's going to be really hard to be away from Victor, but I do know I somehow get a little bit stronger in the house where as long as I don't think about home too much and don't let myself, uh, get sad, I won't. This is the first time I'm going in though with a significant other, so I don't really know how it's gonna be. I mean, I already miss him now, so I'm sure it will be hard, but there's other people that will be going through the same thing, um, and even worse with kids. So I just gotta kind of not complain about it because this is a really cool experience, and I know one day I'll be like, oh, I missed this. What protocols did you have to go through to make sure you were healthy uh, before entering the house in terms of Corona? I'm a homebody. I personally just stayed home a lot. Um, and then now we are in complete sequester for two weeks as of I know could be longer. 
Um, nobody's in and out, wearing masks in the house. Um, we have one person here in case of an emergency, but very strict. Um, it's nice to not have a mask on for once. Oh, testing, a lot of testing. My last like question for you, how do you think the pandemic affects the game and by that i mean you guys already go through living in a house with just these people but now everybody's coming into it having been quarantining for months the the fear and the stress of corona of kind of our political climate how do you think that affects this season and what will it be like the season is definitely going to be unique in the aspect of everything going on in the world. I'm not quite sure what that exactly means. I'm not sure if some people are going to go even crazier sooner as far as being locked up because they've been locked up for months and months. Um, and I'm an introvert, so for me, it's honestly the best thing. I, I like to recharge with a small amount of people people um, but for the extroverts I think that that can be difficult and as far as everything else going in the world I think that everyone just needs to really you know reflect on themselves and reflect how they can be a better person and make sure that their true self is what is being portrayed on TV. Could this be the in most intense season ever? Definitely going to be the most intense season ever there's just so many variables and you can never prepare for this situation and that's another thing with this I know some people may have turned down this opportunity because of um, things that we can't control. And I just thought, you know what, just go in, make the best of it. And you don't want to miss this opportunity. It could be the best thing that ever happened to you. You don't know. We can all grow and we can all learn.